Hello students, in this video, we shall discuss MCQ pattern question based on decision making statement or also known as conditional statements. Now, in your MCQ pattern questions, you will have questions from the theory section, syntax based question, predict the output and true and false. We go for the next question, predict the output of the following program segment when distance equals to 25. So we see that out of all the conditional statement, the fourth conditional statement matches, that is 25 is less than equals to 30. So the fare will be 80 plus 60 plus 25 minus 20 into five. So 25 minus 20 gives me five. So 140 plus 25, the correct answer is 165. So you need to do a dry run for the calculation to see that which condition is matching and accordingly we have to do the evaluation. And we go for the next question again. It's a leap year question. When year is 1900 and in the program segment, the output will be specified year is not a leap year. Why? Because 1900 is divisible by four, but it is also divisible by 100. And a leap year condition is it should be divisible by four, but not divisible by 100 only or it is completely divisible by 400. 1900, as we see, is divisible by 4, divisible by 100, but not divisible by 400. So here we come across, this is not satisfying the condition. So the answer will be specified here is not a leap year. Let's go for the first question. What is the maximum lines of code that can be written inside a Java style of if, else, or if, else block? There is no such limitation, so my answer will be none. Next question. An if else statement is better than a switch statement in which scenario below? Checking for more than condition, checking for less than condition, checking for ranges or all. All are the correct answers because in all the above mentioned situation, if is a better choice than switch. Choose the correct syntax of Java if statement below. If condition followed by statement is correct. If condition statements within curly braces is also correct. If condition within curly braces, a group of statement is also correct. So my answer will be all the above are correct syntax for Java if statement. What is the output of Java program with if statement? In the following question, you can see within if there's an integer one. Now this will show me an compiler error because there should be a Boolean value within the condition in the if statement, the condition should have a Boolean value, then only the if body will be executed. So over here, it will show me a compiler error. Next question, what is the output of the Java program with the first statement? Now here, there is a true statement, but in the if condition, you can see true is there, but this true is in uppercase and Java is case sensitive. In the right hand side, you can see below I have mentioned true in small letter, which is a Boolean value. So the down one, you can see it will compile and it will show no error. But the upper one, it will show me an error because if capital true is not a Boolean value. So it will show me a compiler error. Next we go for, what is the output of the Java program? Int A equals to 10. If A equals to equals to 9. System.out.println OK. The next line system.out.println master. Now over here you can see that the statement following the if statement is system.out.println OK is linked with the if condition. But the next statement system.out.println it is not matching to the if block. So when we have more than one statement in our else if it should be always within braces. By using the braces, we demarcate one block from another. So this else, now the condition is not true, A equals to, is not equals to nine. So the else part will not be executed because it cannot find its matching A. So it will show me an compiler error. We'll go for the next question. What is the output of the Java program? String name equals to small letter dino. If name equals to equals to capital letter dino. Now, here, my condition is not true. Small letter dino will not match with capital letter dino, but it will give me the output code because as we have discussed, the below line, the second line, system.out.println good is not a part of the if statement. So it will give me the output as to be good. 
what is the output of the java statement java program with if else if statements now here marks equals to 55 will not match my condition if marks greater than equals to 80 no it's not matching else if marks greater than equals to 35 yes it is matching so my output over here will be passed the second condition else if is matching so and it will execute to give me the answer pass next question now marks equals to 85 so the first condition will be matching if marks greater than equals to 80 so it will give me the answer to be distinction we go for the next question what is the output of the java program to integer variable horses i am assigning 10 value to integer camels variable i am assigning 5 value so when i'm comparing if horses is greater than 5 so in horses 10 value is there 10 is greater than 5 i enter my if block if camels in camels 5 value is there so 5 is greater than 3 so automatically both the if conditions are satisfied so i'll get my result to be for this we go for the next question what is the output of the java program in integer variable marks 29 value is assigned so I'm checking if marks is greater than 29. You can see after my condition, there's a semicolon. Now the semicolon in the if statement indicates the termination of the if condition. So it terminates as the end of the statement over there. So the next statement system.out.print pass is a normal statement. So that will be executed. And system.out.println and rank will also be executed. So I'll get my output to be pass and rank. Be careful about Meticulously because in MCQ question, if the answer is correct, you get full marks. If the answer is wrong, you don't get any marks. In this question, the condition is not satisfied, but still pass will be executed. System.out.print pass will be executed because in the if line, the statement has ended due to the presence of the semicolon after the condition. So both pass and rank will be printed. Next question, what is the output of the Java program below? Now, if 3 is greater than 1, then 4 semicolon is there. Now, 4 semicolon is not a statement. So, it will show me a compiler error. It needs to be an assignment statement or a printing statement, but nothing is there. So, it's not a statement. We go for the next question. What is the output of the Java program with if statement? If condition 2, that's correct. But break is used only within a switch or a loop to come out of a switch or a loop over here since there is no presence of switch or loop so it will show me a compiler error we go for the next question predict the output of the given uh, program segment when executed now here we have a equals to 1 b equals to 0 m equals to 10 and n equals to 5 so my first if condition if a equals to equals to one and b greater than zero no b is not greater than zero a is equal to one but b is not greater than zero so that part of the if block will not be executed we come to the next if if a equals to equals to one yes now this is correct so it will execute m into n plus space then m mod n so i get my answer to be 50 and zero because 10 into 5 is 50 and 10 divisible by 5 will not return any remainder. So I'll get my answer to be 50 space 0. Go for the next question. Predict the output of the given program segment when n equals to 0. Now x is initialized to 1 and y is initialized to 1. Now the if statement is not true because n is not greater than 0. So x and y continue with its previous value. So the answer will be 1 comma 1. We go for the next question. Int b equals to 3, k comma r, float a equals to 15.15f, c equals to 0. If k equals to equals to 1, then the program segment is there. But the problem over here is that k has not been initialized with any value. So it will show me a compiler error that variable k might not have been initialized because it assumes k to be a local variable declared inside a method so when we are using k in the if condition before initializing that is before assigning any value to k then it will show me an 
compiler error because k has not been initialized to any value. So it will give me compiler error. We come to our next part of the question. Predict the output of the given program segment when option equals to b. Option equals to b. Here we have first segment case will not be executed. Second case will be executed. That is object oriented, but because of the absence of break, there will be a fall through. That is case C will also be executed. So I'll get my output to be object oriented, then robust and secure. Because of the absence of break in case B, we will have a fall through problem due to which case C is also executed. Now predict the output. Now A equals to 4, B equals to 4, C also equals to 4. Now here you can see that it's an equilateral triangle, but in isosceles also it is executed because in all it says if both the conditions are true, then also all is executed. So I'll get the output to be equilateral and isosceles triangle because since all the three values are equal, equilateral triangle is also true and over here isosceles or condition is also true. So in that case, both equilateral triangle and isosceles triangle will be my output. So I submit my answer. There are 50 questions. You can check in part one of video also. There also you will find the answer of your question. And in the description box, you can find the link to the Google form of this question, which you can practice to see how far you remember and understand it.